So now we're going to deal with real, regular polygons. And these are polygons in special case where all the lengths and all the side of the sides and all the angles are the exact same. So they'll be a very symmetrical shape. Like a stop sign, for instance, has an octagon, but all sides are the same length and all the angles are the same. Examples of regular polygons could be an equilateral triangle, where we know that each angle is 60 degrees and all the lengths have to be the same to be an equilateral. Inside of a square, like I've shown here, each of the angles is 90 degrees, so they're all the same, and we know that all the sides have to be the same length as well. And this would be an example of a regular uh, pentagon, five sides, where we have all the angles are the same and all the side lengths are the same as well. So to solve for the size of um, each exterior angle or each interior angle in a regular polygon, and so this is only for regular polygons, not for any, is we know we have to be 360 degrees all the way around a shape. So if you know your polygon has six sides, it's going to have to bend through six angles. So you can divvy that 360 up into six different equal spots. So that's why we use 360 divided by n, which is the number of sides. For each interior angle, you know that your rule, which we got from the previous section, was the number of sides minus 2 times 180. That'll give us the number of the size of the amount, total amount of angles inside the tr uh, polygon. And then if you know you have a certain number of uh, sides inside, sides that it's made up of, you just divide by that and it will split it equally between all of them. So if we want to take a look at um, this case, let's look at the regular pentagon here. So if I want to find the exterior angles of a pentagon, I know that they will add up to 360 all the way around, but I have n is equal to 5 on a regular pentagon. So you can see here in this example we start with our rule 360 divided by n, so I've got five exterior angles, and I need to split those evenly amongst the 360 to get it shared all the way around. So 360 divided by 5 gives you 72, and that's be the size of each exterior angle. And for our interior angles, again, I know that n is equal to 5, so I'll replace my rule. Instead of saying n minus 2 is equal to 180, I'm going to say 5 minus 2 in brackets time 180 and I have to share that equally amongst the five angles inside of the pentagon. So if I do that calculation and divide by five, I get 540 total divided by five gives me 108. So what I know in this case is that the interior angles are each 108 degrees and the exterior angles are each 72 degrees. And just to double check, uh, double check that that makes sense, 108 plus 72 equals 180 and you'll notice that those two angles are angles on a straight line as well. So it should work out that your exterior and interior angle will add up to 180 on a regular polygon. So again, you use the same rules, 360 all the way around, and just share it equally between the number of sides you have. And for interior, the same rule to get the number total amount inside, and then share it equally by dividing by the number of sides. So we can take a look at another example real quick. So let's look at the octagon here. So we can see that my number of sides is 8. So to get the interior angles, my rule is n minus 2 times 180. So that's 8 minus 2 times 180. And we get 1080. Now that's for the total inside, so now we need to divide that by 8 because there's 8 angles in there that we have to split it equally amongst, and that's 135 degrees. So when I get 135 degrees, oh, sorry, the sum of the interior angles, that's what they wanted there. So it's 100 and 1080, and then we share it equally, we get 35 um, degrees inside of each angle in the polygon in the octagon there, in the regular octagon. So remember, regular octagons, or regular polygons, have the same length for each of their sides and the same size angle for each of their angles. And from there, you can just make sure that you share up the total, either around the outside or the total on the inside, equally amongst the number of sides that you have.